Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Talk About Sleep. It's that time of the month when we go over the questions and comments from the last four weeks or so, and uh, I answer and address any questions that have come up. So uh, just as I always say, these videos are for education only. Please like the channel. Please subscribe to it. And uh, without any more delay, let's get into it. Okay. So, I'm just going to kind of go in reverse uh, chronological order. So, DM writes on my Jennifer Aniston insomnia and sleep medications video, you know this stuff is going to be $500 a month and not work better than the old generics or even placebo. He's talking about Daradorexant, which is the new medication coming out, which I did a whole video on. And uh, DM, like I said in my video, I hope, I hope we're wrong, but... Based on the previous experience, yeah, it, it may not be great, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't want to be a hater on the medication without it coming out first. Uh, Victoria writes on my uh, Trazodone Part 2 video, Hi, Doc. Very helpful information. You're welcome. Uh, for insomnia, I have tried Trazodone three times, 25 milligrams, 50 milligrams. The last time I had a headache uh, on the side of my head. Uh, why trazodone produces headaches and should I try once more or it's definitely not for me you know trazodone is not really known to cause headaches I have heard that before so you know it can happen and like I said I mean there'll be another uh, question in this in this um, this video as well about trazodone it's not for everybody okay what I would say though with that medication specifically is when people take it more and more and more the side effects tend to get less and less. So the biggest thing that I see is that people wake up and feel a little hungover the next day. That tends to get better the more you use it. So I, you know, as I said before, I believe in it. If you want to keep trying at it, you know, see what happens if you take it for like a week straight. But, you know, I leave it up to you and your, your doctor to decide. All right. Uh, on my sleep-related hallucinations, DM also writes, any evidence these can be caused by psychiatric disorders such as anxiety or depression? Great question. Uh, he's talking about hallucinations, whether people have uh, hearing or seeing things as they're drifting off into sleep or as they're waking up. Technically, it's possible if somebody has, let's say, severe anxiety or severe depression that their sleep is very disrupted of its own accord. Right, and when you have disrupted sleep, you know your brain goes from wake to sleep, wake to sleep. It could kind of go from REM sleep, which is dream sleep, right to wakefulness. In theory, it's possible that could happen. You know, there's other reasons why have people have disrupted sleep, but that that certainly is a reason. So yes, I mean, I don't know, the, I don't know that the literature would would suggest that necessarily, but it can happen. It can happen. Good question. On my sleep paralysis video, DM also writes, is it usually beneficial to use trazodone with someone who gets recurring sleep paralysis? Suppressing REM sleep may be beneficial, which trazodone should do. Yeah, that could work. Um, again, sleep paralysis, hallucinations, these are things we don't necessarily uh, treat per se. You know, usually as, as long as things have been ruled out, like sleep apnea, narcolepsy, we typically would just reassure the patient, right? But in the context of, you know, putting the, both these questions together, in the context of somebody who does have anxiety or somebody who does have depression, yeah, trazodone would be helpful for that. It may help with some of the other things as you suggested. Great questions. <clears throat> um, on my multiple sleep latency video, Shug Oda writes, thank you so much. Very, very helpful video. I have a presentation on these subjects and found it informative and helpful. You're welcome. Thank you for your comment. I will continue to, to move ahead. Liali writes, you're so cute. Thank you for the video. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Darren writes on my, tr another Trazodone video writes, I am pretty sure this drug increased my dad's anxiety and caused him to commit suicide. Commit suicide. I'm sorry, Darren, about that. Um, it is possible. You know, again, I have heard people say that Trazodone has increased anxiety, has increased depression. Um, you know, sadly, it's not for everybody. I don't know that that was the, the reason for your dad's suicide. I, I mean, I haven't heard that before. You know, could it cause increased suicidal thoughts? It's possible. But, um, but I'm sorry to hear that, though. On a Let's Talk About Gabapentin video, um, 
Tigra writes, I was given this medication for shingles at night. The instructions say to not suddenly stop taking it, which is true. I took it for two nights and stopped. Nothing happened. Is this a warning for people who have taken a couple weeks for more than stop? Yes, absolutely. A night or two, uh, it's fine. I have patients who take gabapentin just as needed. That really is for people who you have much higher doses and for longer periods of time. The problem with gabapentin is, you know, if you take it for that long at a higher dose, you know, for months, let's say, and stop it, it can cause seizures and other things. So very, it's kind of rare, but you got to be careful. If it's 100 milligrams or 200 milligrams or 300 milligrams, you took it one night here, one night there, don't worry about it. So I'm glad nothing happened. Uh, Kelly writes on my exploding head syndrome video, I experience it a few times a year. It's always about to, about to drift off. It's the same sound. Somebody hitting a door with a fair amount of force. It can cause, uh, it can be panic inducing. Yeah, people who have it, you know, there's uh, another person who wrote that they have like, it's almost like a uh, F1 racer coming by. You know, people say they hear banging things. It can, it can be experienced different ways, but yeah, it's all the same, the same idea. So just reassure yourself that it's not dangerous as, as frightening as it can be. Uh, on my uh, question answered video from January, Sammy Sammy writes, um, I've got sporadic fatal insomnia. It is rare. Uh, let's gets left undiagnosed. Only shows up if you have an autopsy. Everyone thought it was my mental health. I'm 53 and I've got a very rare disease. It has been awful and cruel torture. Then she writes, I wish the problem... I wish that I could sleep. That's a problem. I have sporadic fatal insomnia, and it all started after I have antibiotics. I'm just waiting here, wait, waiting here, waiting to die. Uh, Sammy, I'm very sorry to hear that. I don't know if that diagnosis has been confirmed or not. You're right. It only can be diagnosed with autopsy. There have been 25 cases in the literature over the last, you know, time since medicine has been uh, in the literature. So I don't know that you have it. If you were diagnosed with that, I, I am very sorry. I would definitely tell your, your family members and so, even though it is sporadic, it, there may be a familial component to it. So I hope that's not what you have, but, um, but you know, let us know. Let us know what happens, all right? Um, and then finally, on my Ambien and other Z drugs, Norma writes, I had sleep talking and hallucinations with Ambien. What's the odds Lunesta will do that to me? Probably pretty high. They're very similar types of medications. Ambien, Lunesta, Sonata, they're all what we call um, the Z drugs or non-benzo medications. If you had experience like that with one, there's a good chance you're going to have it with another, unfortunately. Okay, so it's not a guarantee, but I would be very careful. And uh, MGTOW Anonymous writes, they all do that sh shit, man. Kind of. Um, kind of, especially in that category. So that's the uh, that's the video for today, the question and answer for today. Thank you for everybody who who uh, interacted. Um, you know, some of you guys have some real real serious stuff going on, so definitely make sure you get the proper medical help. Uh, and thank you for everybody uh, for for interacting. As we go forward, please continue these questions uh, and comments. Keep them respectful. Okay, I have to say that to some people that I didn't mention here. Um, and, uh, and yeah, let's, uh, let's keep this, this community going. Okay. Please like the video. Please share it with your friends and family. And until next time, sleep well.